All right, guys, we're playing Trindamir top lane on today's video. We're playing Trindamir versus a Renekton top lane. And for the runes, we got Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Hand, Nimbus Cloak, and then also Celerity. Now, this game, we're going to have a lot of fun because, uh, as you guys know, like, we played Trindamir last time going for a very interesting build. Today, I want to go for full attack before crit build and showcase how, how strong that is. So pretty much like a regular build. And we also get to play with the Victoria skin. We have the... Uh, we're using the Master Tier Chroma version. So it's all purple. Oh, we got my Inlek too. So our Renekton matchup is not... You know, as bad as it sounds. Because we actually get to out-sustain him. I think our sustain is slightly better than Renekton. However, his all-in and short traits are better than mine. But yeah, we outscale the matchup for sure. There's no doubt about it. So Renekton wins the early game for sure. Uh, if it comes down to both same level. Um, however, as the lane continues and we get into our first item. First item might be a bit difficult. It really depends, but... If we can maybe snowball the lane at the early start, maybe. We might not even need to worry as much. They got a... They got a scar in our jungle so we can like pass through the wall here. I think I might just take my chance. Hold up. I might not do it. I'm go I'm gonna see if I can build up the the bargain. So the plan is simple. Okay, I'm getting ganked already, so Skarner's coming top lane, right? He's activating ghosts? What? Yo, he activated Ghost. He was running way faster than I thought that. Okay. That's surprising. Hmm. I'm just pressing E so I can get the kill. Oh, it's focusing me. Right. It didn't focus my jungler. It actually focused me. That's not very good for me. Because I still need to play my lane now. My jungler can just walk away, but I have to play it out. That's quite a quite a challenging one. Wait a second. I need to heal back as fast as possible. Okay. We're, we're doing great here. We're healing back. Nothing to worry about. Oh? <laughs> well, I was here. And the tower is all the way over there, so it, like, it literally hit me on the edge. There's no way around it. How sad is that? It was on the edge. 100%. I thought I was just like out of the circle. Yeah, Renekton has a lucky time today, because if that actually didn't hit me, I would have been able to shove that in his face and then reset. But yeah, I don't think it fully matters. This guy... Oh, he's actually running TP, whatever. It's actually kind of bad for me. Skarner is probably going to pad back top lane. I assume. Okay. This will be quite a challenge. Well, it kind of depends. If I can reset um, the, the back port, maybe. So, never mind, I guess. He's going to teleport. Yeah, I suspect... Okay, this will be challenging. The The death I had was not good at all because it actually gave him the double buff and he has steel caps now, so my lane is very different. I think we might have to rely a little bit on the gank here. Possibly. It depends. His level 6 is going to be very hard for me. I shouldn't have died before. Red buff will expire soon. Don't tell me they're going to dive me, right? They're not diving me, right? Please don't. Let me be wrong for once. <laughs> okay, they're not diving me. They're not looking for it. Oh. We're pretty much back at full HP. Let me heal back. The double buff is actually gone right now. 
Hmm, so what if I can pop out like a short trade? That's that's kind of what I'm looking into. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, we actually got the ultimate out like that? That simple? I did not expect we'd get the ultimate out like this, man. Okay. That's quite nice for me. Now I can just hold the wave. If he actually decides to reset, I'm going to win. There you go. If he does what I think he's doing, I'm going to get a lead from now because if he actually decides to reset, he will come back with item advantage, which is not good for me. But if he decides to reset now and hopefully he loses the cannon, I will actually gain a massive lead in terms of XP. And I think that's going to make me win the rest of the lane very easily. Yeah, there you go. The cannon's going down. He's not able to get here in time. At least, I think. Please. He actually gets the cannon XP. Oh, man. The game is trolling me. The game is trolling me for sure. Hey, he has uh, straight up item advantage right now. So I actually lose every trade. Oh, smart guy. He's guiding backwards. I'll keep holding it. As long as we keep holding in this position. Uh, jungle will eventually walk in and we get to kill him for free. Ooh, we got the bone blading out. Nice. And uh, we also have Jungle like pathing top lane. I am your worst okay, let's go. He's dead for sure. Thank you. Such a nice jungle gank. We've also been preparing the top lane for this the entire time. Worked out super well. We get to uh, play two. I think he probably has TP though. Okay, we reset now. As fast as possible. Just reset in front of the tower. I don't care. So the faster I can make it back, like, uh, the better it will be for me. Uh, we're going to go into this one straight away. And let's get back. Awesome. So yeah, the plan this game is very simple. What I'm uh, what I'm going to do is I will buy Kraken Slayer as a first item, and then after the Kraken Slayer, I think it might just become a Phantom Dancer instant for attack speed and crit chance. Like I said earlier, we're going attack speed crit chance, and then third item. Um, once we get there, we will go Infinity Edge, so that we can use all the crit chance, all that stuff for damage. I don't care if I take damage here. That's okay with me. I'll heal back. Renekton will also heal back, but my healing is better. Or I think it's better than Renekton. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if it is. Yeah, my healing is crazy OP. That's the thing with Trinimir. Like, you can turn your brain off with Trin. You just heal back to the infinite. <laughs> You can take very bad trades and you can just come back within two within two seconds. I hit my W beforehand, so my W applies and he does less damage that way. Ooh. Got him. So apparently no ultimate needed. That one goes down too. So I think that Renekton has teleport right now. Because if I remember correctly, he uh, he used teleport at like three minutes, I believe. Or four minutes. So yeah, he's not teleporting from what it seems like. He's not doing it. Let's go for more attack speed. Now, um... One thing that is very, very important is like when you are building Kraken Slayer and you can't actually buy any components anymore and you actually have gold left. What I would often highly advise is uh, simply 
buy the next component for the next item. So that way you can still use the gold and not having to wait. I'm going to keep going in. Very good. Now we heal back. He's probably going to teleport back, I assume. It's very likely he's going to teleport. 100% he's going to teleport because I'm pretty sure it's up. It has to be. Always popping W before he actually goes in so he can reduce the damage, all right? Very important. Okay. Let's go back once again. Go for Kraken Slayer. There you go. W is very important, guys. A lot of people actually do not know this, but... People think that Trinimir's W is literally just a slow that applies. That's not how it functions. Um, w is not just a slow, guys. If Trinimir presses W... It reduces damage. Like, literally, it reduces AD from your opponent. For four seconds. You can read it into the W if, if, you, uh, if you didn't know. So, if you ever try and fight somebody with Trin... Make sure you pop in W before he goes for the full combo. Not afterwards. Because you're going to be reducing so much damage. So, W is, is more than just a slow, guys. Do keep that in mind. A lot of people uh, do not know this. I'll take my chance here. I think that a Renekton is likely to back or rotate, so I'm just going to see if I can grab another blade here. He's got Steel Cap, so I'm just going to keep going for an auto. Not a plate in my collection. Skarner is currently in mid lane, but despite that... Wait a second. Yeah, despite that, I'm going to place a ward down because I see he's moving top now, so... Oh, nice. Did we just get the R down again? Fantastic, dude. Amazing. Uh, Skarner's up here, so I can't do what I want to do. Ah, so he's going to stay around, right? Let's heal back. Okay. One more point in E. I'm not going to put a point to my R. Okay, so I'm I'm going to have a bad time. Goodbye. Hey, there's a nice Cartus ultimate. Yo, that's looking great. Although it doesn't kill me though. Let me heal back. Tryndamere remains to be the most unfair champion in all of League, in my opinion. It just doesn't ever change. Tryndamere is the type of champion that will keep on healing in, like forever. It doesn't matter what you do against Trin. He will just heal back and heal back and heal back all the time. And the worst part is that Tryndamere scales amazingly well. There you go. L look, we're going to heal back again with Q. And uh, we, we don't have my ult, and we also don't have Ghost, so I know that Skarner might eventually come back to me. Um, so we just need to play it safe a little bit. Sure, you can go back, buddy. Okay, you don't go back? Well, that's fine. Then I'll just let the wave push into me. That's also fine. You can stay there. I do not mind it. Oh. Buddy, I don't need ult. I don't need ult, okay? I'm Trinomir. You're not going to win. Believe me on that. <laughs> yeah, I love how Renekton is like... <laughs> I love how Renekton is just, you know, panicking. <laughs> this guy just can't play the game out. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. Ooh. That's W. No worries. I'm healing back, okay? 
Oh. <laughs> Yo, I'm getting some free cartas in my lane as well. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> and also exhaust. Alright. Yeah, let's get Phantom Dancer. We have two items now. Let's go for Blue Chinka too. Chernobyl are so funny. You think you're gonna beat him until I press my R, bro. Okay, we're gonna run back top lane. So, uh, we're technically ready to uh, to play the mid game out. As soon as the towers go, go away, like, we're gonna be obliterating the game. Hopefully with a Yumi by my side, too. Trinimir with you, uh, Trinimir with Yumi is, like, super OP, dude. Snowball once, it just... You're not gonna get killed anymore. And wait. Let's grab these. I'm not putting any points in R. I don't need to do that. Let's get that tower away. Renekton doesn't get to defend it, ever. Appreciate it, buddy. No ult needed. Is there more I can get? No. Doesn't seem to be that much more. We have Fiego moving top here. Got it. I think we can also get second tower too, I think. Hold up. Yeah, 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 we do. Oh. Well, goodbye. I refuse to die here. Do you, uh, keep in mind they have a, uh, they got a Kartus this game. Which means that he can press R when I'm very low, although it's actually card to support, so this guy needs to scale to become useful. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm definitely not interested in fighting uh, Azir when I don't have R, and top lane is being pushed in anyway, so top lane is the way to go for me. Run everything. I have uh, 3.1k and I need to have 3.3k for my infinity edge. What's going on over here? Why would that Skarner walk into me like that? Okay, it's time to head back, so we have 3.3k now. Got it. You can't roam, Zyra. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to split push now. I uh, don't need Zyra to help me out. I'm going to completely obliterate bot lane. I think I still catch him. Okay, cool. <laughs> Those took like two auto attacks. Funny. More points in W. As you guys are noticing, I'm actually not putting points into my ultimate. And uh, yeah, there's like a serious reason for that. Um, putting points in ult is kind of troll with Trinomir, uh despite all the stuff you gain from it. Uh, putting points in your E slash W is just the better approach. As they are much more valuable than your ultimate. Your ultimate is just there to exist. Uh, when you get extremely low, but you don't use it ever until you get low. And that's why you don't put points in it. Your W and E are constantly used. So yeah, your ultimate just exists for the moment that you're low HP. But like when you, I can show you, 
when you max old, you gain fury, you gain um, you know all the other stuff, you gain cooldown, but those things don't matter because it you're only using it when you get low. So that's like kind of what uh what you want to think about. Got them both. Oh, too bad, I guess. <laughs> that was so nice. I could have technically lived, I feel like. You know, maybe maybe if I uh, done it like slightly faster, jumping to Astral. Oh, I think I've done it the fastest way. I think if I, I, I should have pressed my Q later, like uh, like half a second later, maybe. I think I'd, I'd be alive. I think that uh, it would have been entirely different. But yeah, whatever. Okay, we're going to go into, I think Lord Dominic. Nah, I'm not going to go Lord Dominic. Not yet. I want to go Lord Dominic, but not now. So I think what would be a fantastic item this game would certainly be a Mortuary Reminder as it actually gives a uh, healing reduction and everything that it provides, everything the item provides um, is good on Shrin as well. I'm just going to grab like one wave real quick. Need like 20. Uh, wait a second. I'll just grab the upcoming wave too, just so I can be slightly efficient. Okay, seems like there's a rep buff. We're getting a lot here, for sure. I'm walking away from it. Because I don't know exactly what's coming after him. So I know that there were like uh, two people in, uh, in mid lane, but I also know that there's like two other people that are still missing and I think they're top lane. So it just doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, I think that my last item will likely to be Stripe Breaker, but we can also go into let me, let me check. We can also go into this item. However, it's not the best item since we're getting low quite a bit. Yo, Johnson, thank you for the three months resub, bro. Thank you for resubbing and supporting me. Let's grab the... Let's grab the wave. Doesn't seem... Anybody is up here. Can not walk around though? Wonder if there's actually a jungle camp. Yes, there is. Got another one. Enter the collection. Great, man. Your team has destroyed a turret. One thousand twenty-eight. <laughs> Just casually auto attacking for one thousand. Let's go, bro. Uh, yeah, we don't necessarily need to fight that. I can, of course, take the risk and go one versus three and int. Uh, but we can also just casually wait and let my teammates go Baron, and that way we can get it for free. Okay, so I told my team to go Baron. I'll set up the Baron bot lane, so they can uh, they can just go there. They can do it. Wait, before I take blue, I'm just gonna push this one because it sets up the Baron. So let's push this out.
Nice! We got a triple. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, it obviously didn't go according to the plan. I was thinking, uh, I was thinking, you know, if my teammates actually go Baron, I can just one versus five in bot lane. I only got three, uh, three kills out of five. Feels bad then. All right, I couldn't get all of them. But yeah. So I think, I think I'm not going for blade. I think I'm actually going for uh, this item, just so I can get the crit chance. Now let's sell that away. I need like 130 for a potion. So we need a little bit more. I'm thinking of just getting a jungle cam, just so I can get the, uh, the potion and then, and then we can run into their base. Wait a second. I'll just grab red buff. Then we then we reset. Oh, whoops. Okay. Yeah, I got, I can buy it now. And let's let's buy it. So the only thing that I'm still missing is getting level 18. I need to have like a, like one more wave. Roughly, but I don't need level 18. But I can I can quickly go and grab it as we get our way to mid lane. Let's go. Would be nice if I can get level 18 right here before we uh, start a fight. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's nice. <laughs> no chance for these people. Well, I guess the game is over. Yep. GG. Seems like Skarner also left the game after wrecking it too hard. Yep, just gone left. <laughs> hey, either way, this is uh, Trinomir top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Trinomir video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.